Hi, welcome to the channel. Minnie Ripperton was such a beautiful singer. She died far too young at 31 in 1979. But her music lives on. Her famous song, Loving You, was recorded in 1974 and is a song written by her and her husband, Richard Rudolph. This is a song she wanted Stevie Wonder to produce. However, due to contractual issues, he didn't use his name on the liner notes. He went under a pseudonym. This song is a very straight love song. I love you because you're beautiful. And apparently on the liner notes of her, one of her albums, or the album it was released on, she said that she wrote it for her little daughter as a distraction so that she could spend more time with her husband. Her nickname was The Nightingale and she's influenced many singers. Mariah Carey is one. Her ability to produce notes in the whistle register in particular is a trademark of hers. She has this very clear tone and accurately pitched notes. Let's hear it. <laughs> Everything that I do
wasn't she amazing? Oh, just that sweet tone to her voice just really was so lovely to listen to. She has a lot of other really nice music. This is her most famous song. She was a soprano and had a very big range as well and obviously had those whistle notes in the whistle register that she just produced with ease and with high accuracy. Wow. I'll go back and just play some of these things. So the whistle notes, go back to here. Loving you is just a dream come true. Oh, wow. Just hear that. And another one. And see, it's also <clears throat> in the way she managed to sustain that final note so well and even still change notes after sustaining for quite a while, just added that little bit at the end as well. Amazing. Her diction, her pronunciation was so clear. There's a lot of clarity in her voice. You can understand everything she's singing. That's something else I really love. Another thing are other slides she does. This is called portamento. So where you slide from one note to another. I'll play that. So that slide, e, beautifully done. Wow. The other thing that I really found interesting in this live performance from 1975 that is a bit different to the original recording, so it's nice to have another version of it, was the way she slightly detached some, some words. Colours that you bring. Colours that you bring in this part was really nice. The colours that you bring, please. The colours that you bring. It was really, really nicely done. The rhythmic element there. I really like that. And there's some more rhythmic things. I'm more in love with you. And then la, 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 la is quite rhythmic in that part too. If I go to that. So it was just beautiful. There are so there's so much to love about her style. And again, how sad she died so young. She suffered from breast cancer and that eventually got her. What a shame. How sad. But what an amazing singer. You don't hear a lot about her. She she is well known, but perhaps not as well known as some other singers. But her contribution to music was huge and she's influenced so many people. I really loved her style and still love her style. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. I'll see you next time.